So first, I want to say the history. AI is not of yesterday. It has been there forever. The ideas were created in the 40s, the thinking about it, the software programs were written in the 40s, and now slowly they're expanding and they're coming close to us. All these IT trends like image recognition and deep learning and, and, and machine translation and speech to text and the other way around now are now basically uh, together in artificial intelligence. When the internet came up and, uh, and we, I was talking to bankers, I remember I was talking to bankers in 1996 and I said, I had 3,000 bankers in the room and I said, look at the banker on the left, look at the banker on the right. One of the two won't be here anymore in five years because of the internet. And it's not that the internet will replace all the bankers, no, they will just replace 90% of the bankers and 10% of the bankers will use a good tools to basically be much more productive. And I think that's the same with, uh, that's the same with AI. AI now is at the basis of most of the very important decisions. If you want to have a, if you get, if you get a bank loan, it depends on what AI says about you, what it thinks about you, how it gathers the information about you. If you get promoted on a job, it depends on uh, the algorithms which are in all these uh, HR systems. Lots of things are happening at the moment. And GPT, which we now all know, is the first one which came to the attention of normal human beings. They go like, wow, really this works. But this has been around forever. And it's not that GPT and OpenAI is the only one. There's a hell of a lot of other ones. Google has a bunch of stuff. Facebook has a big open uh, AI, uh, open, source, uh, open source network. And Microsoft has a whole bunch of stuff. And, and even GPT has been around for two years and it was only known inside. And then suddenly there's a new user interface, just like with Apple, there were smartphones, there, there were smartphones, and suddenly there was the iPhone and everybody goes, wow, but Blackberry has been around for five years before that. But it basically captures the attention and got 100 million people to use it and 1 million people to pay for it in a very short time. Give a list of books which Vincent Everts uh, wrote me. And I really love this version because, I mean, he said, I, you know, this guy is fantastic. This Vincent Everett, look, he wrote books. How does the internet change the world? The world of tomorrow, blockchain organizing, the internet of women, the day after tomorrow, disruption, all kinds of books I wrote, but I didn't write them at all. And then of course we have all this thing about uh, uh, AI generated art. So we have text, video and, uh, and images. You can text to image, image to text. You can also do text to video. All that stuff will be integrated. Now it's all separate programs. But um, where is the copyright coming from? There will be lots and lots of fights in every part of the industry of who, ha when AI makes something, where is it based on and who has to pay? That's really interesting. Why do we need to make it really popular? What we really need is a war. Yeah, when you really want to have it popular, war. we need Microsoft against Google. I mean, that is fantastic. What are the 10 things we have to solve? Well, we have to basically make sure we have the ethical concerns, the job displacement, the private concerns. So I have a list of 10 things. How did I get that list? I just asked uh, GPT saying, what, we ain't seen nothing yet. What are the 10 issues, uh, the 10 issues uh, society to gather with? And it gave me a nice uh, list. And th with this, I'm gonna leave you as a basis of uh, the next thing where we're gonna see how can we use AI in the, in the tools and the businesses which we're using today. So thank you very much.